I'm Tyra. Welcome to the new dating pool. Chances are pretty good that you are going to date a guy with kids. I want her to love my son just as much as she loves me. I don't love him as my own son. I try and find an excuse to leave or I won't come over at all. Did you know that she does this? I never date men who have kids. My son comes first and if a man has a child, his son or daughter will come first. Because you want to be number one. You know how many good guys you can be crossing off the list that you should have? What do you have to say about that? Now on Tyra. that you're watching the Tyra show. We moved to the CW. We're so excited. It's the same channel as America's Next Top Model. So talk show in the daytime, top model at night. Very excited. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think we all know that finding a good man is hard, as hard as hell, is it not? Right, like somebody that's really good. I want to show you how hard it is, okay? I have a chart here. Now, this chart represents all the millions of single men in our country, in America, all right? Now, out of all those men, I'm going to show you who is not available. Let's start off with our gay men, okay? 12% of these guys that are single are gay, so we got to scratch them off the list. Bye-bye, gay boys. We love you, though. Holla! <laughs> Y'all just don't love us in that way. <laughs> And then we have to talk about incarcerated men because they are, a lot of them are fine as hell, aren't they? <laughs> but locked up and unavailable and you probably wouldn't necessarily want a lot of them anyway because of the crimes that they did. That leaves us with 70% of men to choose from. Now out of those, nearly one in three of those men have children. They have children. So chances are pretty good that if you are a single lady in America, you are going to date a guy with kids. All right? Don't knock it. <laughs> Think about Will Smith. Fine, Will Smith, right? Okay, then he had some kids. And then he got a divorce. And then he was a baby daddy. And then Jada Pinkett married him. Then we have Tom Cruise, fine-ass Tom Cruise, has some kids, and I got a divorce. And Katie Holmes is now stepmom, as well as new kids. Tom Brady and my girl Giselle. Tom had a baby, Giselle came in, and now they have a baby together. So it's all about the blended family right now. But I have a story. I, a couple of years ago, actually a little, almost more than 10 years ago, I was dating this guy, and we were dating for like, three, four months, and everything was cool. We were all cool, and I was cooking my famous spaghetti in his kitchen, and then we sat down to have dinner, and I was like, oh, man, I forgot the knives and forks. So I went into the drawers, and I was looking for the knives and forks, knives and forks. Opened up a drawer full of baby bottles. Oh. And I was like, wait, we've been dating for three, four months. What the hell is going on? <laughs> and then finally he told me he had a child, and I'm like, well, you didn't have to hide it. Now I'm freaking out about it. But I ended up dating him for a while. It didn't stop our relationship. But, you know, there's some great guys out there who have kids, but you guys have to be honest and let us know that you have them, okay? You cannot, like, kind of half lie by omission. How many people would date a guy that uh, has kids? How many out there in the audience? You see? Let me see. Raise your hands high. And who would not date a guy who has kids? Would not. It's almost like... 40% of the audience would not date a guy. Well, Tessa's here. I have a, a, a panel full of people, and they have strong opinions about this. Tessa, you admit that you only will date a guy with kids. Why is that? Well, I feel that they're more responsible. They have, um, oh, God, they're just more family-oriented. They really want to have that family, and family is extremely, extremely important to me. I mean, I want to have kids eventually, of course, but they're more family-oriented. When and they already have kids. Right. But your, your sister, Lauren, what do you have to say about your sister thinking this? Uh, I don't really understand why someone would want to take care of someone else's child. I think it would be difficult. It'd cause a lot of drama with the ex baggage, and then the child might not want you in their life. So I think it would just be extremely difficult. 
difficult. Baby mama drama. Yep. <laughs> baby mama drama. And child okay. of the baby mama drama, not wanting you mm -hmm. up in the life. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, so do you have an issue with your sister wanting to date these guys that already have kids? I do. I don't think she should. I don't think she's a place, in a place in her life right now where she is mature enough and responsible enough to take care of someone else's child. And she's been doing it for years now and it's not been working. Well, I feel that you're closed-minded right now. I feel that um, just because they have kids doesn't mean they're bad people. I mean, they want to have a relationship and they want to have, um, the, of course there's going to be a mother in the picture and there may not be, but I would like to be an important part of that picture as well and there's positives to it. I mean, these guys are going to be good people. Like Tyra said, I mean, there's guys that are fathers who are really good people and their mom's on a picture for whatever reason. You think reason. though you can take care of a kid? Like you... Eventually, yeah, eventually, not, right not at this point, but I also have to get to know the father, I have to get to know the kid. And right. you're not going to be a priority. A you're it's not going to be a priority in their life right now. But it's their kid, it's their priority, their work. Like they have to have the job in order to support the kid. You're not going to be a priority, Let's so talk. it's going to take a while. You We're going to talk to you, Perry. Yeah, yeah. Perry, you, well, you have a four-year-old son, right? Right. You're a single correct. dad? Yes. Okay. Is it hard for you? What do you What do you have to say to Lauren here? She's I mean, bad people come in all different packages. Baby. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you have a child or if you doesn't don't have a child. If you're a good person, you're a good person. If you're a bad person, you're a bad person. You can be responsible with a child and without a child. So I. I I really don't see why would you just go one way or the yeah. other. And then we have Aisha. Aisha, you have an eight-year-old son. Mm -hmm. How do you feel about men that have kids? And you have kids. How do you feel about men that have kids? Um, I never date men who have kids. My son comes first, and if a man has a child, his son or daughter or however many children he may have will come first. And I want. child yes. and you won't date a, a, a man with a child exactly because you want to be number one right now if somebody wants to come into your life who may be single right and they want to be number one you're gonna let them be number one your child should come they're never first, gonna right? come they're never gonna come first so why would you be so that's so because that's what I want oh gosh that's so you, confusing you, okay <laughs> Perry how is it when you're dating like when you're dating and, and you're going out with a woman do you first of all do you tell them you have a kid or do you wait four months for them to see baby bottles um, no I never, I, never, <laughs> I never do that I usually tell um, people up front I don't say hello I have a child like that yeah. um, but it, it's definitely not something that I hide um, I remember this one time you know I, I met this girl at a, at a club and everything went well and I got her phone number and we talked back and fo forth on the phone everything was going great and we decided to, you know get together and meet at a, at a dinner and I, I met her and you know I'm telling jokes some of my jokes are funny some are not she's giving me all the good body movements she's leaning forward <laughs> all that extra stuff playing with her hair so I'm like like, yeah, so Look, my, my joke that's not funny. She's touching my hand. Ah, like that wasn't even funny, but okay, yeah, this is going good. So I'm like, yeah. So she goes, um, so do you have any kids? And I, I hear, I'm like, yeah, I have. Ah, I hear that sound in my head, like ah. she just fell back and like, oh yeah. Mm. Oh, so do you, how's your food? It's all right. I'm like, what the, what just happened? You know what I mean? So she didn't even fully give me a, a, a full chance. Just because as soon as I said I have a child, she didn't even want to hear it anymore. So All right, we're going like, to get oh, some more into this. And I really want to talk to you, Miss Aisha. I am so confused how you have kids but don't want anybody that has kids because yeah, your kid I'm is number one, too. but you yeah. want to be number one in a man's life. Yeah, let's, let's, let's it can this. be confusing. Okay, you're going to break it down for us. We'll be right back. <laughs> Up next, divorced dads and dating. I feel like I was lied to so you could be with her. And that I was lied to, I feel like she was more important. Higher. And I'm later, my top tips okay, under 10 seconds. seconds. Are you ready? And go. You need to do a highlighter, a highlighter like a like a lemon. Lemon, especially the rind of the lemon for concealer on first leave jelly type of stuff, wipe it off. You want to put the color on top of <laughs> about women being open or closed to dating a guy that has kids. Now, there are over 2.5 million single fathers in our country. Before the break, we were talking to Aisha. Aisha said that she has an eight-year-old son who she puts first, but she wants to only date guys that are single. She doesn't want to date a guy that has kids because Aisha wants to be first right. in their life, which I'm confused about. So they, so the guy would be second in your life because well, the child would be first, right? Absolutely. Um, when you're a parent, you put your kids before anyone, you know? So uh, 
I would definitely want to be the top priority in my boyfriend or husband's life. And if he had kids, there wouldn't be an option for that. There would be no room, you know, I would come second. And you have a problem, you would have a problem with that? He yes. has a ch if he has a child, that doesn't make him any less of a good person. That doesn't I'm not make saying any, that he's a bad person. I have a child, and you know I'm not a bad person. Good, you know how many good guys you can be crossing off the list that you should have? But that's okay, because I can let say let I don't want to date men who are short, okay. men who, who are bald, okay. men who smoke, or okay. men who gamble, or anything. I could cross <laughs> off a lot of people, and I could be cutting off a lot of good potential mates in my and life. That makes you know sense what I mean? To you? It does make but, sense to me, because these are my preferences. This have you, is do you have an experience with a guy? Well, yes. A while ago, I dated a man who had kids, and and it seemed like, you know, uh, the ex would every once in a while want to stir up drama. And, you know, it was always, well, he needs to go and be with his kids and not be with me. And the attention needs to be with the kids. And I totally get that. I would rather be selfish and say that I want to come first. That's why I don't date men with kids than to date a man with a child and then resent him for taking care of his that's kids. That's my point with her. She's not going to be a priority in his life so, when he has And children. that's close-minded. But what, what, how important is the guy in your life, then, that you're going to be with? Thank oh, you. he's going to be important, but he's not going to come before my kids. Well, of course not, but... Nobody will. Sure. Bottom line. I can get get married tomorrow and we could have 10 or 12 babies my husband is still going to come after those 10 or 12 babies that's it but still what? in every that doesn't mean in any every relationship that you get in with a guy that has a child that there's going to be drama but i'd rather Just not take that, that, that chance si because that i am a parent so if you my in a son and i are doing extremely well okay. we're very happy he's a real rounded kid he gets straight a's he plays sports he's awesome mm -hmm. i would rather not put us in a situation where we would bring in outside drama and deter us from where it is that we're trying to go or where we're at right now. Okay, Christina has been dating. Okay, you guys are heated, gonna go on forever. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. Christina's been dating her boyfriend Leia for the past year. Leia has a three and a half year old son. And Christina, you have issues with him having a son. Tell me, tell me some of the anxiety that I know you're going through. I get a lot of anxiety uh, thinking about what my role is with him. Um, should I act as a parent towards him or just a friend or for now should I just stay in the background? I just don't know where I stand with him. As of right now, I'm still getting used to everything. And now I understand that when Leia's son wants to come to the house, what do you do? I will find excuses to either stay home or to leave when he's coming over. To stay home at your house, not his mm -hmm. house. To be away from the child. Yeah, it just because I'm not sure how to act towards him still. I just don't know what to do. When Leia, he's what does that make you feel like? Do you want to marry her? I do. You do? I, I do. I love her. I love her a lot. But uh, eventually, I do. I want her to love my son just as much as she loves me. Mm -hmm. um, eventually, things hopefully will be for the best. Uh, but forever do I want her in my life. Mm -hmm. I do love a son. I just, I'm still getting used to the fact of trying to find my place with him. Mm -hmm. Do you really love his son? Or are you even kind of just getting closer? I'm getting, I'm getting closer to me, to how to you it. talk doesn't sound like how you love somebody. Do you know what I'm saying? It doesn't sound like that. I'm I not don't. attacking you, and it's okay if you don't. No, it's a do. human thing to not, but. I do, but I don't know. I don't love him as a mother would love their own son, I guess you could say. Because is I don't that okay know with you, Leia? That she probably can't find that love to love him like her own? And that's why I haven't pushed it on her. I mean, to know that you have a son and you're getting into something with baggage and you're getting with somebody who has not had a child before or even been in a scenario where they've been close to a child, you can't really push it on them. I mean, but really... But you should read the signals. Because if you guys have a child together, it could possibly be that she will favor her biological child and that your son will feel that. So it's just something to think about. Always listen to our gut and know what you're getting into. Patricia says her 15-year-old daughter, Tabara, has been totally hurt by her dad since he and Patricia separated five years ago. Tell me how you've been um, hurt, Tabara. Basically, I feel like me and my father's relationship isn't as strong as it used to be before my father got into another relationship. And I feel like... What did you used to do with your father before? Me and my father used to hang out all the time. We, he'd take me to school, he'd pick me up, we'd go to Taekwondo together, he'd stay and watch, we'd go out to eat, go to the movies, everything. And after, you know, he started another relationship, I feel like some of those things were put on the back burner and weren't as important as mm -hmm. they used to you, be. You walked into a room, what did you see your dad doing in that other room? Um, he was kissing. The, like, his girlfriend. And what did that feel like? Because I was told that she was just an employee, it felt like I was betrayed, like he lied to me to be with her. Got it. Um, Dad is here. Hey, Dad. 
So, you used to be like dad of the year, and now not so much. No, with not a new so much girlfriend. Much. What, what happened? 